Disclaimer. The following content may contain crude language, viruses, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes, but not suitable for children, and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man up. If you like my videos, if you find them interesting, if you want to share the content, if you want everybody to know what I'm talking about, whether you agree or disagree, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, coming from your boy, man up. Thanks for watching. What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man up. I'm coming at you with one more video today. Before I get started here, I thought women like for a man to be more in his feminine side. That's what we hear all the time from these women. They want men to let out their frustration. Hmm, that's what we hear. All right, let's get into this article. This was sent to me by uh, one of my sisters. And after reading this, I was like, wow, this is crazy. <sighs> I can feel my sex drive die when my boyfriend vents about his insecurities. And she's not talking about how he looks. She's talking about things that's going on at his job. I'm going to let y'all read that, though. <sighs> mm. But the one point that stuck out to me was toward the end of that first paragraph, she says, But hearing this from him makes me so turned off, like my kid needs help. So you comparing your boyfriend to a child when he's letting you know how he feels about his job. Okay. This is how contradictive women can be. We already know she told him to let it out or maybe he's used to hearing women say let out your frustration, talk about your feelings, what's going on and all that stuff. He's heard it before. I'm putting it like that. So now when he does it, this is what he gets. Mm. It's funny how that stuff works. <laughs> Look, at the end of the day, man, all I got to say, ladies, just be clear and cut what you want. I was watching a video before while well, this one lady said, this is why women struggle in relationships. Because we want a relationship that is unpredictable. She said that we want y'all to, we want to fuss at y'all for doing the right thing and be okay when you're doing the wrong thing and stuff like that. And I was like, I was listening to her and I was like, I was like, well, that's true. Women do have something to say. And when you give them a birthday gift, well, you should have got me this gift instead. Or... Now, I didn't want to go eat here. You should have took me to this other place to go eat. You'd be like, well, fuck it. I ain't going to take you nowhere. <laughs> then she, then that woman called and said, we, we know that it's weird, but that's how contradictive we are. That's how unpredictable we like a relationship. That, this article right here is, is what I think about when I saw that, saw that video that woman saying that. If I can find that video, I might do a... Uh, I might do a reaction to that, but I can't find it for some odd reason. I saw it and I can't find it now. But anyway, going back to this post here. I know I started rambling right there, y'all, but going back to this post. Ladies, how come you just can't come out and tell them, tell your man exactly what it is that you want and don't, and don't switch it up? How come you can't just say, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to throw something stupid out there. I want a red dress. He, then when he going to buy you the red dress, don't say, no, not this shade of red. No, you said a red dress, so he went and got you a red dress. I, like I said, I know it's a stupid example, but y'all to get my point. How come you can't tell the, the man, your man exactly what it is that you want? We want peace at home with our woman. That's what we want, peace. 
We don't want all the crazy, unpredictable crap like y'all women do. Because y'all women think it's boring. So, with that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, with that being said, how come you can't do that? Why you got to be so contradictive? And then, why you got to put y'all business, your business, his business, both of y'all business, all out in the street like this? I never tell me and my wife's personal business. Never. You know, it's like women just got to let the whole world know what's going on in their life. Like, I give a damn. Like, all I'm going to do is make fun of you. That's all we're going to do is make fun of you. Not just me, other men too. I mean, yeah, other men too. Some women will too. Everybody will. Because I got this post from one of my sisters. So, <laughs> my point is, when it comes to things like this, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to things like this, you need to keep this to yourself. Instead of venting to the world about the, what he's doing, vent to him about what he's doing. Huh? Oh, Okay. You're not going to do that because you ain't going to have nothing to talk about later on. I get it. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. And they ain't going to say you don't know if this relationship is side with your boy or not. Why is it not side with your boy? So, so what are you trying to say? That we can't express how we feel? Like, like I say... Us men already do not have avenues. I mean, we're starting to get something these days, of course. But for the most part, we really don't have avenues to let out our frustration. To let out how we feel about certain things. Women have always had that. Always had support groups. About whatever's going on in their life. Whether it's your, the relationship you're in. Your, your so-called friends. Your job. Whatever. Women have always had avenues to let out their frustrations. But now when a man wants to let it let out his frustration, this is what we gotta go through? It's like, really? Wow. Like we don't have emotions and feelings. Like we can't just say how we feel about whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's get this uh let's get the conversation going. Tell me what y'all think. With all that being said, this is your boy man up. I'm chunking a deuce. I'll holler at you.